Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure, telecom, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Igor Skatsenia. You got it right. Yes, from Lank Telecom. They are an international carrier of wholesale voice and messaging services. Welcome, Igor. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, it's a pleasure having you. So bring us up to date about Lank Telecom and some recent announcements that you've made. Uh, so Lank Telecom, as, as you said, is an international carrier for voice and SMS. We deliver more than 4 billion of, uh, minutes of international voice calls, more than 4 billion of uh, international SMS, uh, be it one-time passwords, notification, marketing announcements, et cetera, et cetera. So we maintain international connectivity along many, many uh, partners of ours. All right. And what trends are you seeing in uh, telecom fraud? We're hearing so much about all these different spoofing uh, and brand impersonations. Why don't I give you a little bit more details about those? Sure. Uh, basically, CLI spoofing, uh, as we call it, or A number spoofing for, for, for the viewers, uh, it's when the inbound call is having the number that it does not belong to them, essentially. So the recipient is thinking that this is a familiar brand or a relative or someone local. Well, in reality, this is essentially an international call with uh, some uh, bad intentions, probably. Uh, it could be, <coughs> excuse me, it could be uh, just facing for uh, some spam calls, some robocalls, or that could be a, a villain that are trying to embezzle uh, some funds out of the victim. Uh, all of those cases would uh, use uh, a number spoofing, yes. And I get about a hundred of those a day. There you I'm go. I'm sure many of our viewers do. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, these fraudsters are getting more and more sophisticated and using these techniques by the day. Uh, sadly, yes. Uh, however, there are technologies out there in the market. Um, I could highly recommend to use validation of the calls if there's a, a way to ensure the proper origination of the call. And uh, I could refer to probably um, AB Handshake uh, technology as one of them, uh, which makes sure that the number uh, that is used is the proper number that is belonging to the proper brand and uh, there's no uh, A number spoofing going on. And you actually, Lang Telecom, actually has a voice and SMS fraud management system uh, specifically for some of these large enterprises and brands that are yes. victims of these types of crimes. Correct. So why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about that? Uh, thank you. Uh, so our system is uh, AI based okay. uh, and we were perfecting it over the last uh, 13 or 14 years. Uh, it started off just to uh, process all the traffic, all the, all the voice calls that we process, all the SMS that we process just for internal purposes to protect from telecom specific kinds of fraud because sadly this happens too. But then we understand that our AI is um, very, very capable and it's capable to not only to counter the risk that we know, but also to uh, discover new fraud scenarios and point us in the right direction. Hey, th this is what's going on. This happens, for example, with a fraud scenario called OneGary 2.0, where we saw that fraudsters would uh, use uh, Call Me Back uh, forms uh, and help desks of international retail or banks, and they will use fraudulent numbers and uh, the help desks and uh, call centers would call back on those very, very expensive destinations, pay exorbitant bills, but uh, basically gain no business. Our AI was the thing that discovered that, and we're very happy to have the tool that can detect and protect from, from dangers like this. Especially when it comes to banks and financial institutions, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's amazing, this AI-based platform. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more about that? Uh, visit our website, langtele.com. Uh, meet us at multiple events that we do in uh, North America, South America, Europe, Middle East, Africa, uh, Asia. I mean, we're, we're, we're a global company with global presence, so feel free to visit any of the telecom events and, and meet us there, or just uh, reach out through LinkedIn. We all maintain social uh, media profiles. So, yeah, feel free to reach out, ask us more, and, and perhaps we can do business together. Yeah, and you had an amazing uh, soccer football event uh, to kick off. That ITW. we did. 
I heard it was a great success. Oh, yes. Yes, very much so. Uh, I mean, the, the, the competitive sport, it unites people from all around the world, from all the different backgrounds, from all the different industries. We have Absolutely. voice people, SMS people, data people, all kinds of telecom professionals united on the football field, just, uh, you know, playing for 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 just for for uh, mutual pleasure and just for the mutual benefit because sport is good right yeah so. gotta have a little fun right mix a little that is business correct. and pleasure here at itw 2024 you mentioned that you'll be at several of the upcoming conferences yes. uh, where can we find you next uh next probably would be um in berlin okay. in messaging world uh would definitely would also be in madrid uh in september um also the messaging concentrated conference uh, and probably MWC Las Vegas as well. Uh, the Sin City welcomes us yes. for many, many years and uh, it, it would be a great show. So look up us uh, at uh, Mobile World Congress in Las Vegas this year. Yeah, well, we'll definitely be seeing you there. JSA will be there as well. Uh, Igor, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your insights uh, here at ITW 2024. And thank you viewers for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.